Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18.1, the first big update to iOS 18, of course, since its release. It's a really important update and it should be here in a matter of days now. So we're going to talk all about this update and I will show you guys everything that you need to know before you go ahead and update your device to the new iOS 18.1. Now, of course, talking about updating, that as always will be a simple thing. All you have to do is go to your general settings and then go to the software update page. Right here, you will find the update for iOS 18.1 as soon as it gets released to the public, of course, which should be about a week from now. So what we have here are a few different like scenarios. If you're currently on the beta of iOS 18.1, most likely today you will get the RC version of iOS 18.1. And if you install that update on your device, then you won't be getting a public release as it's basically the same update. But if you're on beta right now and you don't wanna install the RC version, you wanna wait for the public release, you can just go ahead and right now go to the beta updates, make sure to turn them off from here and then in a week from now, you will get the public release of iOS 18.1 and then you can just go ahead and update from there. Of course, if you just want to move directly to the public and not the RC version of iOS 18.1. Now, when it comes to a new update, there's something really important you need to know. How does it perform when it comes to battery and also overall performance? Well, battery, in my experience, using this version of iOS 18 since it has been released on beta 1, actually has been quite good. So if we go to the last 10 days here, you will see the battery lives here with 100% 12 hours 27 minutes and then right here we have nine hours and 25 minutes with about 130 percent battery right here we have six hours 45 minutes with about 75 percent battery and all this on a battery which is again at 91 percent of battery health but where this update really stands out is right here on the performance. This is the best score I ever got on the iPhone 15 Pro Max on any version that I had installed on this device, of course, since iOS 17 up to the new iOS 18.1 beta. And this is the score I got, 2,944 on the single core score, while we have a multi-core score of 7,000. 356 again this is a great performance score when it comes to an ios release it's actually amazing and hopefully it will be even better with the public release of ios 18.1 now, of course, as you know, with iOS 18.1, we will get all the cool new Apple intelligence features. Now, unfortunately, those will be features that will be available only to the users that do have an iPhone 15 Pro, a 15 Pro Max, or one of the new iPhone 16 series. But there's a lot more on iOS 18.1. So if you don't have an Apple intelligence device, you don't actually need to be disappointed with this update. It has some amazing new features. I will show you guys some of the best features that non-Apple intelligence devices will get with this update. Now, first of all is the call recording feature. Now you will be able to actually record phone calls directly from the phone app on iOS. Now, once you're in the phone call, you will get a button right here at the top left corner. You tap that and in three seconds, it will start recording the phone call. What's really cool is that that will be actually saved on the notes app and you will also have a transcription of that phone call. And also on the notes app, when you go here, you will now have a folder where you will find all the call recordings. So it automatically creates this folder where it will save all your call recordings. On Safari, you can now hide things that do interrupt you or you just don't wanna see on a website. So what you're basically doing here, you tap right here on hide distracting items and you will be able to select like different items from a website and hide them. Now, what's really cool is that even when you hide them and reload the web page, they will still be hidden. You tap the done button and you're good to go. Now you will see that little icon right there, which indicates that you have hidden an item on that website or more. And you can also go ahead and tap right there to again show the hidden items. 
on the control center you will get new toggles for connectivity you don't have to have now the widget for connectivity you can have the individual toggles right here which is really awesome we get the airdrop the wi-fi we also have the seller and everything else that we need here which is pretty awesome and we also get a new toggle for measure right there which you can now add to your control center Talking about the control center, when you go to your settings app and you go under the control center, now you will have a new button to actually reset the control center to its default layout. And there will also be changes on the history here on the calculator app. When you tap now the button, the history will show up right here from the bottom and not from the side. So these are some of the new features that are coming to iOS 18.1 that are not part of the Apple intelligence features and every other device that does support iOS 18.1 will actually get. But again, when to prepare your device for iOS 18.1, when we will get this update? Well, today most likely will be the day that Apple releases the RC version of iOS 18.1 and that's the final release before Apple released this to the public. Now, as we have heard before, the rumors, the reports are that iOS 18.1 will be released to the public on the 28th of October. That will be the next Monday. So on the 28th of October, as usually 10 a.m. Pacific time, you will be able to install this new update on your iPhone. Again, this will be the first big update to iOS 18 since iOS 18 has been released to the public. So should you update or not to iOS 18.1, I think you should. This is a great update, amazing features. If you have an Apple intelligence device that does support the features, it will be even better. But even if not, you will get some great battery life, amazing performance, and some pretty cool new features that we just talked about. So what's next when it comes to iOS 18? Well, iOS 18.2 is set to be released also this year before everyone goes on holiday. Before the end of the year, we should get iOS 18.2 released to the public. But when it will be released on the first beta, most likely a day after iOS 18.1 gets released to the public. I would expect Apple to actually release the first beta of iOS 18.2 in the 29th or the 30th of October. We have to wait and see if that will be the case or they will push it like a week after, but most likely on the Tuesday after the release of iOS 18.1, that will be the day also that Apple releases iOS 18.2 Beta 1, which should bring more Apple intelligence features and probably a lot more new features to iOS 18. So that's about it for this video, guys. As we can see here, iOS 18 is actually moving in the right direction. A lot of cool new features, performance-wise, battery-wise, it's actually quite solid. So it's an amazing update overall. So that is it. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more iOS 18.1 videos. And I will see you on the next one.